Hi, little guy. Hello. Hi. Hello. Come say hi to me. Let me pick you up. Wow, when you pick him up, he uh, screams. Hey, sweetheart. What's going on with you? Come here. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, so he came in as a surrender. I just got the surrender form and it said that um, family members were not taking care of him and that he, whenever he was picked up, he would scream and his ears were all gunked up and he was just being neglected. And um, so the owners uh, finally agreed to surrender him and then this person, this nice person came and brought him over. And it's a good thing because we're gonna see Ursula checking in now. And you
That was an awesome job that Ursula just did cleaning him. That was really amazing because that was not easy. I looked at it and I thought, man, that was a tough one. She did an amazing job. So I'm checking him out a little further after he got all checked out and I'm noticing he's got all this hair loss. You can really see, sorry, sorry buddy. You can see how uneven the hairs are growing as well. And this is all just with malnutrition. Even though he's a hefty size, this is definitely malnutrition. So we're gonna just look forward to his coat becoming all nice and clean. Uh, you see how thin it is as well up here. It's just thinning coat, broken hairs. Um, that'll all go away with the right food. And then we did notice that he has this little scab thing, but he also has it really up here. Look at this way up here this is what I noticed so and this is like a scab type of looking thing this almost looks like ringworm some type of fungusy thing so we're gonna treat it come here sweetie we're gonna treat it as ringworm yeah we're gonna treat it as ringworm we're gonna give him a nice bath and he's gonna already look a lot different once we've done that so his teeth are good he's healthy he likes to eat so he'll be fine he just needs Oh, and his ears, this, he won't even let you touch it. There's something abnormal already about these ears. It, it's, it's not normal how the insides look. Uh, maybe that happened because of the extreme skin production that he had, that skin production that he had in his ears. But this definitely does not look like a normal ear. And they are clean now, and you can see that, that that's definitely not normal. And it's definitely ouchy. So actually, I was going to put the little, a little bit of... CBD on it actually to help him with any discomfort he might feel there. This is miracle stuff. Oh, I'm so sorry. 
but I know it's gonna make you feel better. Yeah, he was screaming a lot when I was cleaning. When his you're ears. picking him up, he screams. Yeah, he's just definitely been in some sort of pain. Okay, and the ears I think are really bothering him a lot. Okay, we'll do it quick. Come on, he's not letting me do it. He doesn't want me to do it. Yeah, I know, but it'll make you feel better. Good boy. He did have some um, Eat your cookie. Eat a little your bit cookie. of sores in his ears after I removed all yes, of them. Yes, and that's to be expected really when they're that dirty. But he eats really, really well. Yeah, he's gonna, you know, a couple of weeks I'm looking at a different animal. Do and you want to give him a name? We named him Raul. And that is because this is his savior. This is the person who filled out the surrender form and made sure that he got surrendered and out of the situation that he was in. So if you're watching Raul, great job for naming him in your honor. Awesome. We're gonna take care of Raul. So what I'd really like to show is, remember those ears? how horrible they looked and even after Ursula cleaned them they still looked like they weren't cleaned it was just like all crusty still inside so I figured out that it's some kind of a fungus but not a normal fungus and he still is very sensitive so me touching his ear he doesn't like it I'm hoping he'll just let me have a look and then if I move my light I want to show you guys what it looks like now it's okay Binky let me see I know baby yeah. <laughs> and perhaps I can show it better on the old black ear so we can see how clean it has been becoming and how because it still looks like there's lots of crud in there but nothing like it used to be this is looking very good because it was just covered in crud just like you saw because even after cleaning it it didn't look much like it was cleaned at all so this looks almost like a pretty normal ear inside yes I know it's still sensitive but you are such a lovely boy and you remember how he had that kind of wound thing on his chest? Let me show you. Hard to film because I don't have anybody there, but you see how much better that is already? Yeah, good baby. The nails are good. And how his hair is no longer so thin. It's all grown back in and it's going to get better. It's only been a little while. From there, good food, right? And lots of love. That'll do it. And then his pocket. That is just an everyday thing, unfortunately. You know, when the little boys get older, the skin kind of slackens. It's not the muscles. There's no muscles in there, but it's the skin that kind of just stretches out and retains a whole bunch of the stool in there as well as the smegma so so this is what that looks like mm -hmm. I'm going to clean it out properly but this is after one day of cleaning it okay so this is what we have to do for him daily, but as you can see, it's nothing like it was when he came in. And it comes out just in a whole piece. And that 
is just a quick daily job. But it makes it really hard for him to find a good home. Because not many people willing to do that. Good boy. Okay, so he's fit in just so well, and he knows now that there's cookies coming every now and then. And before he would just stay where he was, and all the other four would run up, and now he's learned that wow, it's a cookie, there is such a thing as cookie time here. <laughs> so let's see, let's head see, cookie. Cookie time! Everybody want cookie? Cookie? Just get cookie. Tricky. Look, here's Raul. Everybody want cookie? Come on, you too. Come, come get your cookie. Trisket, come get your cookie. Come get the cookie. Mmm, cookie time. Cookie, okay. <laughs> and he's learned. He just have to stand here and get cookie. Yeah, cookie. Cookie for Raul. Good boy. Good boy, Raul. You've come such a long way. You're such a precious old man. Yeah. Good boy. Trisket, why are you not coming for a cookie? Or Bamba. You're, you're eating something already? What happened to yours? Bamba stole yours. I know, that's what happened. You're a precious little man. Yes, you are. So you see? I gotta get a bigger cage because this is not big enough for five boys. And he is such a special need that I cannot what am I going to do? And I, I, I don't want to find him a home because he's two special needs. He needs his pocket cleaned out every single day. So, and he's a Buddha boy. And now I got five of them. Oh! oh. You okay, sweepy? So happy ending for you. Gonna get a bigger cage.